Effect, Red Brown Costume Part 2. Last time we talked about this costume, which was worn for the majority of the first movie. At the end of the first movie, though, and throughout the entirety of the second movie, he wears this costume, which is almost identical to the costume from the comics. Like, yes, in this one, he has a full motorcycle helmet, and he also still has the plastic shield that we talked about last time. But overall, this looks almost like it came right off the pages. Some people might say that this isn't since the chest piece doesn't have the chain mail or the scale mail that the comics version has. But also, like, that doesn't obey the law of physics in the comics because there's no way chain mail can form fit around your body in a way to show your pectoral muscle. Like, it just doesn't work like that. Now, we're also going to take a minor point from the costume because according to, like, the official style guides at Marvel, the stripe directly under the star should be red. But also, they kind of forget that semi-frequently in the comics as well, so they're not doing too much worse. But overall, I feel like this costume is kind of a good example of why we don't really want 100% realism with comic book costumes. Because in the comics, they perform a different function and can get away with things that you can't with a live-action appearance. By making the costume skin tight in the comics, you're able to show off the musculature of the superheroes. It's, it's almost like they're not wearing clothes at all, and you can just see their muscles. And there's just not a way to get that ultra form-fitting factor in real materials. Like, you cannot stretch spandex tight enough to show off abs, unless your abs are literally washboard abs, which is physically impossible. So in the comics, you're able to make a character look physically prepared for combat by showing off their physicality but in the real world clothes don't fit like that and so you have to resort to stuff like body armor to show that this person is ready to fight and also you can get away with brighter colors in comics because everything's an unnatural color so it doesn't matter that cap's blue is the purest printed blue that you can get because it made him pop off a page when all the colors look weird to normal people but when you're in a live action movie this bright blue suddenly looks like it's too much and, like, it might not be on its own if it was just a shirt, but, like, everything on here is pretty saturated. So, yes, this costume looks like they practically just grabbed the character from the comics and put him in the real world. But the problem is, he looks like a comic book character in the real world. 